Charge! Charge! Here we go. You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle where fighting is the most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Okay, I guess they do sort of explain how they function and without telling you the options, mechanics of it. Yeah, if we rethink our options and go to formations, you start comparing weaknesses and strengths, uh, taking into okay. account terrain, morale, and look of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Okay, that's that's actually... I, I guess I, I might have whined a little bit too much about it in the last episode. Yeah, it's all right. It's been a while. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think all they're right. all pretty much ready to go. Wait, go... Uh, never mind. There was a little plus symbol next to our renown. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Maybe it was just a, like a, a uh, Here we go. help text Okay, kind of so this is what we're looking at. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dredge. No slingers, thank God. Where's our, our armor breaker? Our armor breaker is going to be Moger for this fight, and he is right here. When does he act? He, uh, acts, he acts second. second. We want him... See that that formation kind of right... This cluster right that here. That cluster, they're all touching each other. If we can break that big guy in front, that's going to be really, really beneficial. Okay, so I'm going to put him here. I'm actually going to move Gunolf a little further back. Okay. Because I fear what the enemy will do to him. I will put <laughs> Hacken right here. I'll back him up with Bercy over here. I'm going to put Ludin on this flank just so he can come out and snipe these two guys. Oh, okay, that's smart. And I'm going to put the Archer over here as well. And actually, I'll put her closer up because there's really no point in starting them farther back. You yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start with Hacken. Oh, we have willpower plus one. Morale is good, I guess. Surprisingly. I guess things haven't really gone to shit with them yet. No, everything's fine we, with we, them. Uh... Oh, no. Aha. Oh, that was almost <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> What does Sundering Impact do? 100% to hit, plus one strength, plus one break to target, plus one break to hit. I think it's better impact. to just hit him. I think it's better. We're going to deal six damage that way. Uh, try eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got him. I forgot that the damage also carries. Heavy impact, yeah. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, I can't get past that's, him. That's what I was trying to to warn you about. Balls. I thought I could. I thought I could slip in between there, but I guess, no, that's the that's the thing about the Varl. Yeah, that's well. That's why they they become difficult to use because they can block each other quick. Well, he's kind of useless until we move the other dude. Okay, I'm gonna rest up with him then. Yeah, it's Maybe not the I'll... worst thing in the world. We just lose one turn with him. Yeah. Um, but early match or early battle that yeah. can mean a pretty big deal. Could be a big deal. I'm gonna. Tempest. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Do I tempest here? Yeah, definitely. It only hits... Oh, no, it hits... Wow, I hit three guys with it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you didn't hit the... Uh... I don't know how I hit three guys. Oh, it's because it goes clockwise, right? Oh, that's it. Then I should have started it on the other guy. All right, yeah, this uh... guy is also going to take eight damage. As I so already, up. we've we've already knocked down their heaviest hitters Four and to six. basically just dealing one damage to us. Mm -hmm. So that's... Super I think we're, we're actually in a good spot. Uh, do I want to impale? Yes. Knockback one tile target bleeds one strength per move on next turn. Impaling I... is the only reason you ever want to become adjacent to a dredge <laughs> with Ludin. <laughs> that was cool, or he kicks it off of him. It's, that's, that's one thing that I do love about this game, is that a lot of the animations in the battle sequences, they feel so impactful, like there's so much weight to them. I don't want to use slag and burn because I've got a lot of guys in there, but I am going to take an 80% chance of dealing 3 damage to this guy. Bam! I think that was worth the risk. Oh yeah. 80% is, is... It's hardly a risk. Right, exactly. Alright, Hacken's going. I think I can get in between here. I can. Yes. Should I follow him down? I can only deal 1 to him. Oh really? Yeah. Is that enough? Can you st stop them from... No, you need to actually kill them. The oh, This guy won't go again for like a really long time, though. But the what's, trouble is, I don't know who else I can get in there. What's Hacken's armor break? Is uh, it two? It's two right now. What's his armor? Oh, um, it's... What's, our, what's his health? I could get Ten? Bercy in there if I knew how much... All right, let's see. Bercy Actually, has... if, if we do armor break on this guy, we actually could probably kill him with Hacken next turn. It's going to be more than one turn for that dredge to die or for the dredge's magic to go off I could I'm gonna do this I got okay. two to him nice all right yeah, maybe that, I can get him maybe I can get him really with the well. archer maybe if I get her in there does that mean that the armor damage technically counts first with that attack 
honestly don't know. I hope so. That'd be awesome. I mean, that's what it looked like. That's actually really cool if that is the case. Break I would have figured they were simultaneous. Well, okay, that guy's gonna go off and do his thing. Cool. All right. Uh, you. I think you just do another whirlwind. Man. Do it. Do another tempest. Do a. Uh, I would do it on. Clockwise, yes, right? Yes, that guy. Got three. Yeah. Except these swings counter. Oh, and I, he died from Luden's impale. <laughs> How about that? All right. Perfect. That was awesome. Okay, so now six damage to this guy and Damn. just functionally cripple him. Yeah. Now they basically only have one guy at full health. They've got well, they have these three fighters who are still going to be like slightly problematic because Bercy's almost down. That's true. But I am going to just keep impaling them, and if they want to <laughs> keep moving around, they're more than welcome to. Dredge getting in there. Deflected. Oh, nice. Indeed. You don't see that happen very often. <laughs> I can kill him. Yeah, you might as well. If I get to here and then I... I have a 70% chance of killing him. Well, crush crush your fingers. Yes! Yeah! Got him! No summoning for you. Okay, that means Hacken can go what's, here. What's that guy's... The Dredge's armor? Eight? Eight. Okay, yeah, uh, we can... We can... I'll, I'll knock him down a peg, and then I'll try and kill him with this guy, with Moger. Oh, okay, that's fair. I think I can get him with Moger. I can't get to him with Moger. Well! Oh, well. I Looks like he gets to summon that something. That's fine. Oh, man. All right. He didn't summon anything. I think there is a chance to fail. Either that, or it takes a couple of turns for them to show up on the back. Actually, I think that's what it is. <sighs> I think it takes about... Oh, there. it takes there one action, so there he is. So it at least gives you the chance to win the battle before it shows up, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Oh this. my. Just gonna wreck this guy. Bye bye. Okay, that's both the stone singers, so no more threat from them, which is good. I just have to kill this cluster of four and then deal with the straggler. I kind of wish. I have enough that I can probably get to him with. Yes. By the way, sorry if, if this isn't as interesting as some of the earlier episodes. We were actually just talking about this before we started the episode, that now that we're beyond the halfway point of the game, a lot of these matches will, or the battles, are going to get a lot more... Tedious. Tedious or in-depth, um, just because tactically there's a lot more going on. There are so many dead dredge just, like, <laughs> clustered around me here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, okay, Hacken is at 5 health. I don't know that he's going to be super useful... We can at least let him break some armor that way. Yeah, it's true. Two breaking two armor is better than nothing, and that's gonna allow some of these other guys to just one shot the rest. Mm hmm Like this guy. Yep. Exactly. Bam. Got him. Boom. And he's promotable now. That's so good. We uh, he was I think the one that's most important that we promote next. I agree. Moger is he's one of the strongest characters in the game. Not not because he can deal more damage, just because it's he's because he will wreck everyone's armor. <laughs> yes, just he will. Obliterate it. Like right now Ivor's dealing like six armor damage, but I think if you really level Moger up, I think he can get up to like taking off nine a hit at higher levels. <laughs> Which means especially the, if you equip oh, yeah. with the right stuff, and, and the bellower fight just becomes comically. Easy. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just gonna hit armor because Gunolf is he's basically served his purpose. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Luden, go here. Ooh. Yeah, you can um, not finish him, but yeah, Come at close. least cripple him. Yeah, and he's he's down to dealing one. I mean, he has been for a while, but and Hacken lives. Hacken lives, and this guy probably dies. It's actually this guy the definitely only dies. reason that Hacken lives is because of Ludin's attack. Shot him. Yeah, but it's not like Hacken will remember that in the uh, in the cutscene. <laughs> we sure as fuck won't. <laughs> fuck Ludin. He's still an asshole. He's such a little bitch. <laughs> ah, God. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deal four because I can. I'll move over here with Bercy <laughs> and do because nothing because I can. Because <laughs> Barl are huge. I'm gonna get through here. Go around. The Back, and I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Nice. Get over here with Luden. I don't want to spend any willpower just because it doesn't seem worth it. I bet you anything that Dredge is gonna kill Hacken next chance. He moves. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't. So close. He's not gonna have Nope. And <laughs> Hacken deflected. deflects, and let's see. Can I get him? Let's see if I can get him. Oh, you can definitely... Oh, wow. 
Got him! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, do we want to fight a little more? Kill a few more? We're not totally beaten up. We're I mean, Hacken's in a shitty spot, but the rest are still okay. Yeah, Hacken and Gunolf are actually both kind oh, of Oh, and we strengths. get more willpower when we do that. Interesting. Oh, and our morale went up. Oh, that's what it was! Oh my god, we have to fight four more. I didn't realize that happened! We still have to fight four more, though. But our morale goes up if we keep fighting! That's, that's actually guess a good point. killing Dredge makes you feel good. It's kind of what the Varl are all about, right? It makes me wonder if the human party does that. Okay, Bercy is... Actually, this might turn ugly real quick, because... We'll be fine. Okay. I mean, th that dude's, uh, Moger is still in a really good spot. He is still in a really good spot, but the trouble is he doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Yeah, but... I'm gonna break three armor off these, this guy. These dredge basically aren't gonna have any armor by the end of this battle. No, they really aren't. Um, okay, Luden can't get anywhere useful, so I'll put him here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That way he can at least stop... Yeah. Well, we have five guys, actually. Yeah. Like I said, it might be just slightly problematic. Oh, wait, no, because I can slag this spot. Slide I forgot. It? Slag. I can slag and burn. Oh! Uh, but that is a limited... I can slag and burn this yeah. spot. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that. Nice. There we go. Oh, interesting. The spots that actually Aren't. dealt damage don't stay lit. Exactly, yeah. Oh, Once okay. they deal damage, they go out. I mean, um, that makes sense. Hacken is over here. I can't give him any more willpower. I'll take him over here as backup, just in case. Yeah, at this point, Hackett's basically only good for... A, He'll uh, be good for one more hit to arm break with. Yeah. There you go. Nice. So now that dredge is basically out for the count. Yep. And he won't be able to kill Gunolf, <laughs> which is awesome! Gunolf has just been deflecting blows left and right. Okay, I'm gonna attack this guy. I'm gonna armor break yeah. for as much as I can, which is two, which is... I mean, it sucks, but it's... You know. Yeah, but at the same time, that dredge's health is already eight, which most of our armor... I think most of our armor is still pretty on par with that, so I think we're not we'll in okay. immediate danger. Yeah. I think we have this. We're probably going to end with a few injured characters, but... That's okay. Uh, I'm going to impale this guy. Yeah. It's too bad you can't kick him back more than one, otherwise uh, you would have pushed him into the fire. With uh, upgrading Luden's abilities, you later oh, can. Yeah. Nice. I'm actually going to... I unfortunately can't slag and burn again, because um, I'm, I'm out. And with she's her. probably also going to die. So I'm going to dip her back, because I can actually still... Yeah, okay. ...plunk off armor from him. Wearing down this big guy is going to be the goal here. These little guys aren't... They, they are a concern, but they're not too much of a concern. I, I mean, they're, they're going to be a pain if um, we don't at least hit, get one hit off, off on them and yeah. reduce their health. <laughs> Fantastic. Suck it! <laughs> nice. Moger levels again. Okay, uh, Bercy, you go ahead, and I can't Tempest with you, and I don't think it's worth it to make him. I, I don't. Yeah, his health is too low. It's, there's no point in spending a, uh, a willpower to get him to do that. I'll, I'll wait till I have... Uh, it's fine. There are definitely some philosophies with this game that you should basically spend willpower as fast as possible and in as much as game, possible. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I think it's worth saving it for okay. the right character. Gunolf's down. Um, now I can... How much damage can you deal with... Oh, can you push them both back? I don't think so. I don't even think I can push this guy back. I think I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't... He just takes <laughs> one. He knocks everybody back. Ooh. It's okay. Well, actually, we only had the one guy take armor damage, so it's actually This is good. actually a good thing, because now I can slag and burn... No, I'm gonna move with her first. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna... So um, move... Burn Moger. Here, or do I move here? I move here. Okay, but and she'll probably get hit. Slag and burn this spot right here. Yeah. I'm fine with her getting hurt. Yeah, I mean, she can pull off a really good damaging attack here, and they're going for Gunolf. Yeah, he's going or he's going for Bercy at this point, which is fine. Um, I can at least hit that dredge with Hacken. Oh yeah, that's true. And I can potentially get uh, Hacken into a position where he can soak a hit for Luden. Yeah, I mean, Hacken will be down after that, but I don't care. This is the bonus fight. Jesus, he took so much damage there. That dredge is useless now. <laughs> Good. Thanks for doing my work for me, you fucking asshole. All right. Uh, health. I would do health first. Health first? Yeah. Okay. I got to start softening them up, otherwise they're not going to... Uh, Fine by me. Yeah, I guess at that point he was basically 
done anyway. Okay, what if I go here? There you go. I can't actually do anything to him. Alright, let's just try and do one. Eh. And there goes Hacken. He's still got one. He's still oh, up. really? Yep. I thought he was down to one nope, already. He's still up. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, five, eight, seven. I'm gonna get her a little bit out of there. So I think one of one of people's frequent complaint with this game is that they think that the the battle system is is redundant. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't think I agree. I, I completely disagree. I think because of the way that you try to set up the battlefield, it makes every starting position of the dredge mm -hmm. always makes the battles interesting. Yep. Um, okay, and they, they throw in enough interesting characters, I think, too, especially as we get to the later part of the game, that it, like, it really changes how you play this game. Yes. Okay. Fine with it. Get him. Oh, jeez, oh. that was a 90% chance. If it can happen, it will happen. And she is fine. I'm going to take her back to here. 30. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 60. Might be worth the armor on the... Well, I was going to say the big guy, but we might be able to kill this guy next. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. I'm going to take Luden up, and I'm just going to... Are we down to two guys? Three. We're down to three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two, technically, because the, the witch is four. basically useless. That's true. Yeah, but it's it's two... It's three incredibly crippled guys, and one guy who hasn't been hurt that much. I'll take the incredibly crippled guys. It's yeah. Fine. Uh, 90%. <laughs> sure. No. If this Luden is, yeah. ends up killing this guy, it'll be hilarious. This is just going to be a chip fest from this point on. Yeah. 60%, I'll take it. Didn't get it. Sad. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, he's going for the surround, which is fine, because I am yeah. not going to fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got himself set up here. These big guys act exactly the same way as the other dredge do, so now I can get this guy. Ooh. I you can't, can't kill him. Can't it's not worth him. spending, though. No. I'll, I'll actually spend it on another slag and burn for her, because I want to I wanna plunk it right there. Ooh. Let me see if I can get you that. You actually will probably kill at least one guy. I don't two. think I can get it in there. No, I can't. Oh, well. Oh, well. 30%. Jesus. Whatever. He's not recovering armor, is he? No. Huh. You can kill that guy, yeah. I will kill that guy. Because <laughs> I know for a fact that Luden's got more than six. Yeah, he's got he's got eight now. So put he, Luden over here. You know, I think one thing I do really like about this this game in general is just the simplicity of all the mechanics actually makes it a very beautifully designed system. Yep. It's very um, elegant. Right? Like in I don't know. I feel like it's still incredibly complex for being as simple of a system as it is. Got him. How about that? Cool. Well, this episode was basically just this battle, but... But it was a war, so it tells us that we got a double axe win- Oh. I didn't oh, they, they went, away. Like went away. I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was totally worth it. That was completely worth it. Who cares if we're never gonna rest? Charge in. Always continue the fight. It doesn't matter if our people are injured. If I go to camp here... Suppose it was maybe not necessarily the most pragmatic choice, but mm. it worked, and it got us the best result with the least losses. Like we, yeah, we three sacrificed days, three our, days, our our party to get better shit. I mean, exactly. That's what it's all it about. It still is pretty pragmatic. So Moger is definitely gonna go up twice. Okay, well we're gonna take care of this off cam because we're well over time on this episode, but Sorry, we will guys. see you in the archives. Thanks for watching. See you in the archives. <laughs>